I need zero exercise. I eat like 200 calories a day. You know, Joe, even if you don't eat very much or if you don't eat enough, that doesn't mean you don't need exercise because exercise is more than just about like losing weight or having a certain figure. It's also about activating muscle groups and parts of your body that don't um, see a lot of use. Because if you don't use them, you lose them is the general rule of thumb. Okay, so if you want to live a long, healthy life. Also, the other thing too is it goes beyond just that. If you want your brain to function properly, if you want your emotions to be properly regulated, physical activity activity helps manage all of these things, right? So, you know, when they say if you go through a bad experience like a breakup or whatever, they recommend you go out for a run, you get a jog, clear your head. It really works. I would say sleep, eating, and physical activity are the three things that you, like before all medication, all these other things. Like if you can get those down pat, you'd be surprised how many problems you can solve. And I, I'm only saying that based on my own anecdotal experience where I had a lot of um, sort of mental turmoil that I've been dealing with throughout my life. And I did not realize that the solution to it was hiding in plain sight. It had a lot to do with my sleeping patterns, most of all, more than anything, I'd say, because I would work out. I always enjoyed working out. Uh, but I would not sleep properly. I'd get sometimes three or four hours. In fact, there are rare occasions now where sometimes I will go to bed three, four, five in the morning if I'm being really undisciplined and I'll regret it the next day. And I can feel the effects more so now because I've had the correct habits for a long enough amount of time that my body isn't used to staying up that late. But you know, your brain still wants you to do things that uh, probably aren't good for you. It's like wanting to eat a chocolate bar or wanting to get that donut from work the other day on Wednesday. It was one of my students' uh, birthday birthdays. And um, so the parents brought donuts. And, you know, there were some extra donuts for the teachers as well. My boss says to me, hey, Alex, do you want a donut? And... I'll tell you, that donut looked really freaking good. I was so close to saying yes. Also, I hadn't eaten anything that morning. I had a busy morning. I had to get ready to go to work. And that donut would have probably kind of tided me over. So I reluctantly said, no, thank you. I'm good. Save the donut for someone else who wants one. And sure enough, 30 minutes later, my boss says, ah. I really shouldn't have eaten that donut. Should have been, uh, she, she actually said, I should have been disciplined like Alex. And I was like, thank you for giving me a sign universe, making the right decision. And that's not to say you should never eat donuts, obviously. Like you can enjoy yourself every once in a while, but there are people that eat donuts every day. There are people that eat fast food every day. And that's, that's no good. Fast food, sugar, sodas, all these things. I mean, really, at the end of the day, you can break it down to one thing. It's really sugary, salty uh, items that we consume. And if you can, you can knock those down to some healthier option. It doesn't have to be an insane, like, flip your whole life around type deal. If you just edit out some of the things that aren't, aren't so good for you. I'm going to put a little scout here so we can deal with these guys. If you can edit those things out, you will feel so much better. And not just because you're, uh, you know, it's it, like I said, it's not just about losing weight or looking a certain way. Your just day-to-day -day existence will feel so much better. Personal experience, I'll tell you. It's the feeling, the, the instant gratification enjoying that donut is exactly what it is. It's instant. But the feeling you get when you uh, resist that lasts much longer. And your future self will thank you for making that choice. Oh my god, my science teacher, dim teacher, gym teacher, yes. You're, you're going to hear that from me all the time, Joe. You just have to get used to it. That That's just, you know, it, it is the problem. They all tell you the same thing, right? The advice is the same, so we ignore it because it's just like, well, obviously... I should be getting good sleep. Same way that, 
you know, I know I'm going to go live at 11 a.m. every day, so I don't put it in my calendar. It's so important that, of course, I'm going to do it. And there's some days where I just don't end up not going live because I didn't fit it into my schedule. So you need to treat your eating and your sleep like it's one of those things on your to-do list that you got to check off. Take it more seriously. That's it's the only way it's worked for me. I want to emphasize that. It's what worked for me. Does you know? It's different for everyone. All kinds of pieces of advice that I've gotten throughout my life that I'm like, eh, that's good, but I can't really do that very well. So you just reconfigure it in a way that works for you. If I had a, a tangible list of the benefits versus deficits of eating donuts, I think I would feel much better referring back to it when I don't eat one. Because sometimes it's like, I really want to have a donut. Are you a teacher? Yes, I have been a teacher for six years. I taught parkour for six years. So basically like, this is a movement class. You learn stunts, flips, jumps, things like that. But I've also taught computers and I've coached esports for almost four years now. You're making me want to spontaneously leave my seat and jog if, hey, that's, I, oh, okay, here's another thing. Thank you for reminding me, Dex. There is a, a pitfall, okay? It's called the motivational pitfall. I've like, I just made that up right now, all right? Sometimes you will hear someone or you will watch something that makes you go, oh my gosh, I need to, I need to change things around. I need to get my life back on track. I need to fix this, that. I realize all these issues I'm having. And so you get up from what you're doing right now, the live stream, like, I'm gonna go for a run. I'm gonna go do that. And then maybe you go for a run and you feel a lot better. You're like, wow, that was great. I motivated myself to turn things around. And you you go way too far, right? You're like, I'm gonna go to the gym every day at 6 a.m. and I'm gonna lift my max, you know, the max amount of weight that I can. And you burn out really quickly. You're like, I can't keep, you immediately fall back to your original habits. And even worse, sometimes, you go deeper, like for, I said earlier, staying up till two, three, four in the morning, all right? You switch that up, you start getting up at 5 a.m. And then after a week or a month of doing that, you're like, I can't keep doing this. Suddenly you're pulling an all-nighter every night because you miss that feeling so much of just letting go, letting yourself do whatever you want at a whim, right? And uh, so I learned a really hard lesson because that happened to me multiple times. In fact, you have this negative self-talk where you go, actually, now that I've tried it, I realize I'm not cut out to be disciplined and I'm not cut out to do any of these hard things. I just can't do it. Um, that's for other people. Like all those motivational people you see online, they can do it because they were born to do that sort of thing. That's not for me. Uh, but I realized, again, it goes back to what we said earlier about uh, configuring everything to suit your personal needs. You just gotta do things slowly. Like if you decide, hey, maybe I need to go for a run, go for a jog, maybe jog 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes is not so bad. And hey, on some days you don't want to jog 20 minutes, just get out of your house, go for a five minute walk, okay? At least you didn't do nothing. That's, that's huge, okay? The, the real problem is not getting people to do things, it's getting them to keep doing them and not shoot themselves down the one time they screw up because... We're all going to screw up. I don't care who you're watching for motivation. They all have off days where they're not doing their thing either. Okay. They're human too. Even if they don't want you to think that. Okay. And I'm not going to sit here and ever pretend that I'm like, oh yeah, I get up at 5 a.m. every single morning. This morning I didn't get up at 5 a.m. The past few days I haven't gotten up. I got up when my, you know, my body was ready to quote an old meme. And that's what I need right now. But as soon as I'm... I'm primed to get back up at 5 a.m., maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, then I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna feel great when I do it. That's the key. Just take a little nibble. Joe, don't don't be the the little devil on the shoulder. 